Good morning. Sorry, I'm late today. Good old technical issues. Good morning. Hello, guys. Hello. Sorry I'm late, everybody. I've been having a few technical issues. Hello. Hope you're all okay. How are you? Haven't seen you all for ages. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're all okay. Uh, I'm going to get started. Good morning. I'm going to get started because, um, yeah, I'm late. And my laptop decided to do a restart and my husband's taking the charger to work. So it's just, just one of those mornings. But I hope you're all okay. I've got a really lovely activity this morning. Good morning. Hello, guys. Good morning. Hello. Hello. I'm going to get started because I'm late. Sorry I'm late. I hate being late for stuff as well. That's what's really annoying. But technology was not on my side this morning. So, um, should we get started? A really, really lovely one this morning. It is ones and twos Wednesday, but this activity you could do with any age, and I'm actually gonna be setting it up and sharing it with Mason when he gets home from preschool today. Uh, you could do it from any age. It is not my activity. It is an activity inspired by um, my lovely community. So if you are on Facebook, head on over to the Play Hooray community page because there are so many things going on in there. It's lovely, a great place for getting some ideas and also um, getting some support as well if you're struggling with anything or even if you want some, you know, if you like wanting advice like what are the best felt tips to use or what thank you cards you're making, anything like that, any questions, um, everyone is so good at helping each other. So it's a really lovely place. So um, let's get started. Yep, so it's not my activity. This is a big thank you to Hannah who shared this on our community page. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it would be perfect for sharing with you guys. I know that you'll all love it. So thank you very much to Hannah who, um, who did this activity with her little one. And I just thought, oh, it's bad. Because as with everything I do, the less preparation, the better. And more often than not, the most effective, isn't it? So all you will need for this activity really is some sort of tape. So we're looking at, good morning, we're looking at some sort of sellotape. I've got some like sticky gaffer tape here. Um, I've not actually tried it, so I'm going to be trying it live with you on here. But from what Hannah set up, it looks so easy that I think uh, we could, everyone would be able to give this a go. So yeah, that is all you're going to need is some sort of tape, sellotape, sticky tape. You want it pretty sticky, so it's going to stay up. So this is ones and twos Wednesdays, but you could actually do this activity with a baby, uh, a sitting, uh, maybe a baby from about the six month stage. Um, I'm sure they would enjoy it and it just depends on where you would put it. Oh no, someone in the doctor's waiting room with tonsillitis. Oh, poor you. Oh, sending big hugs, sending big hugs to you. Morning, Mrs. Mason, my, <laughs> my daughter calls you. Oh, that's funny, I like that one, Mrs. Mason. Um, so yeah, dead easy activity. So you can just adapt it to suit the age or the ability of your child or what you've got in the house or whatever like that. Good morning. Uh, do you know what? I'm not too bad. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually okay. Um, skiing was really tiring. Do you know what was tiring? That Mason didn't sleep. Mason just didn't sleep. I don't know how he kept going, how he was skiing during the day and then not sleeping at night. I don't know. So it was the four o'clock starts that exhausted me rather than the actual skiing. But we're good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, yeah, so we're doing a dead easy activity this morning with some tape. That's all you're going to need. So, Hannah, who did it in our community page, she did it um, sort of that way, sticky side down. And she did it across and she had it from some sort of handle on her patio door over to a hand. I think it was a handle in a kitchen or um, on a chair or something like that. I'm actually going to do it between the legs of a chair. You see? Uh, so these are our dining room chairs. I'm going to do it between the legs of the chair, uh, but you could do it between the handles in your kitchen. You could do it between the legs of your dining room table, anything like that. You're just going to need a couple of surfaces that you can attach it onto. Um, so I'm going to use this big gaffer tape just because it's nice and thick and chunky. You could use sellotape. I think it might just show up a bit easier. So dead easy, dead, dead easy. Fingers crossed it works. So I've not actually tried this. All we're going to do, I hope you can see this. Should I tilt you slightly? Is that better? There we go. You can slide the comments, the, I think you can slide the comments across. So all we're doing, dead easy, is in effect, it's making a sticky washing line, which I just love the idea of. 
so there we go done what was that 30 seconds and probably less if i wasn't talking 10 seconds um so if you can see between the legs of my chair i have stuck some tape with the sticky bit on the outside now i've used this gaffer tape from aldi because it's jazzy and but it's very very sticky um, you can just use cellar tape, washi tape, any sort of masking tape, anything like that. And then the idea is, literally, your kids can come along and stick whatever they want onto it. I think they'd really enjoy it. Um, I've got some bits and pieces. So like I said, this is an activity from our community page that lovely Hannah created. She actually had the tape going from handles, um, I think it was like ha kitchen handles or something, or patio patio door handles and she actually had the tapes sticking down so her little one was going up underneath and sticking things and pulling them off off the sticky so you could do it that way i've just done it this way now she was doing it with blocks so i've grabbed some blocks and the blocks do actually stick how cool is that i'm sorry i'm sorry but hannah has got a great activity there and they come off again and as we all know our little ones will just love sticking it on and ripping it off again. Whether you set it up with some, some things on stuck on um, or whether you just leave it for your little one to come and stick all sorts of things on it. We live in a, at a house with a dog, a very, very hairy dog. So I imagine this by the end of the day will look pretty gross. Um, but yeah, you could have a good old go. I've just grabbed some, I was literally, while I was getting it ready, I was grabbing some things and I thought maybe, you know the um, letters and numbers we all have in the bath, those foam ones that we get a bit fed up of? they stick really nicely onto it if your child's a little bit older and you want them to do a little bit of number practice or something like that or even spelling out their name these stick on really nice and pull off dead easy again paper and post-its would be great but of course like flashcards and that i'd be a bit scared that because my my this tape is really sticky it's proper gaffer tape um it'll probably rip them but these foam look at those ah, love it and we could write yeah you could have pick out the letters of their name, they can have a good old play. Something else that I've just grabbed, you could stick little people, you could stick all sorts, cars, literally anything. It's fab, isn't it? It's fab, yeah, I'm so pleased you guys are getting excited. I just think it's great. Chunky blocks, if you've got mega blocks, anything like that. Wooden blocks, hang on, I've got, I'm just having down an egg box here. Everything sticks to it. Your little ones will just love grabbing stuff around the house and sticking it on. Just watch what they're sticking. I've also, if you then want to do something with uh, slightly older children, I did a post the other day saying about how much I love Numicon. If you haven't seen it, please go back um, and have a look on my post. This is a brilliant resource. You can get it on Amazon. I use it a lot. Great for number and value. And I would start it from a really young age with children. Literally, I truly believe every house should have this. Um, this would be really great if you've got a young one that's starting to do. Yeah, um, I don't think it was in Aldi. Uh, it was before Christmas, way before Christmas, but it might be in the like the middle aisle thing. If not, just sellotape. Sellotape, sellotape would do. I've just, I've just got gaffer tape so that you guys can see it because if I did clear sellotape, you won't be able to see it. Sellotape would work. Masking tape would work. Any sort of tape that you've got in the house would work for this. Um, so yeah, if you've got some Numicon or something, because it's plastic and chunky, you can actually do some sort of like ordering activity where they could do one, two, three, four. And you could do some ordering and problem solving and loads of stuff like that. It's fab, isn't it? So it's not a special type of tape. It's just any sort of sticky tape would work with this. And then they pull off again. They do. This tape is so sticky though that I'm struggling. But any sort of salad tape, masking, masking tape is good because... Masking tape is actually made to, for things to come on and off, um, and maybe not as strong. But yeah, building blocks, numbers, Numicon, anything, anything you can find. What's, whatever you think your little one's into. See? It's just so good. You can literally stick anything on it. Let them choose a random selection of items. Yeah, tell a story. Have you got those gorgeous little pebbles? Um the uh, storytelling stones anything like those how fab would they be stick those in order and make your own little stories up brilliant i love that you could literally get them to stick anything on the washing line within reason you know not the hamster or whatever like that um but yeah it's just dead easy isn't it and that's it today guys so what do you reckon 10 second preparation that was literally a bit of tape doesn't have to be this tape guys could just be sellotape anything like that it's just so that you guys can see it um 
some sort of sticky tape get your little ones if you've got a little one who's maybe about six months stage sitting up independently do it between chair legs have some cushions have them sat around and have something nice and big and chunky like blocks that they can stick on and pull off themselves if you are if you've got a little one that's doing cruising where they're moving around along the um did it along the furniture you know do it between dining room your dining room legs if maybe you could do some chair legs pull them apart uh, maybe you do have handles on your patio door kitchen handles anything like that if you can't find your car keys later you'll know where to find them yep brilliant we once had that i once found them in the coffee pot um yeah or like hannah did on our community page stick the tape so it was above the little one's head you know higher than getting the hair stuck in it but above so they they were actually sticking the bricks on above them and pulling them down again so much fun isn't it oh it's lovely to have you at the live thank you uh so that's it folks dead easy like dead easy wasn't it i told you i always like that the, the the quickest preps are always the best ones so please please if you get a chance to do this today i'd love some photos and see how you get on with it a bit of feedback mason don't get back till later so i'm gonna have to just sit and wait till he's back so that you can have a good old play but i think you'll really like this one any age get children of any age um now i'm also really keen to see older children playing as well so if you have an older child you know we're talking above five uh, if you have any photos of them playing as well i'm really keen to get older children playing too and i'm going to be doing lots of stuff about it numicon is on amazon i buy it on amazon there is a link in my um in my highlights to the to the set that i use uh, but it's, yeah it's really fab worth having all right i'm gonna go then guys uh thank you very much for joining me today it was lovely to have you here and uh yeah let me know how you get on let send me your fan mail let me see um so i can share it and show everybody else all right thank you very much guys lovely to see you uh i'll be back tomorrow for play along play along live all right bye guys Whoa.